and welcome to part two of building an Outlook inspired app. In this seven part series, Infragistics product manager Brian Lagunas shows you how to build an application that looks just like Microsoft Outlook. In this video, Brian will walk you through creating the shells for both the Silverlight and WPF platforms. Let's get started. Hey, right now I'm in the IG Outlook Silverlight project in the shell.xaml. So I'm gonna go ahead and start stuffing out the shell. So we know Outlook has a ribbon navigation area at the top. We have an Outlook bar on the left and we have a main content area. So let's go ahead and start creating that type of format, that type of layout for our view. So we're gonna add some row definitions. I want the height on this one to be auto. We'll set the height to this one. Now let's go ahead and add our Zam ribbon. Okay, just reset the layout. We'll just go ahead and click this. We don't care about a name. Okay, great. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and create another grid here. I'm gonna stick this in grid call, grid row one. Now, how about we add some column definitions? Okay, let's make the width auto size on here. And we'll do width star. So this first column is gonna hold our outlook bar. So we'll go ahead, add our outlook bar. I'll just throw it on here. Let's get rid of this guy. Don't care about any of that. Okay, that's good for now. So that's gonna be our Outlook bar navigation. Now we need a place for our main content. So we'll just use a simple content control for that. Awesome. Okay, so we have our shell so far. We've identified our areas of navigation and where we're gonna be putting some views. So the next thing we need to do is start creating regions out of these. And it's pretty simple to do. First thing we need to do is add a namespace. Okay, so we're adding a namespace to, to Prism. Now I'm gonna go ahead and find all of the controls that we're going to be using as a region. And we're gonna simply give them a region name. So using an attach property, we'll call this ribbon tab region. Let's go down to our outlook bar, prism.region manager, region name, call this outlook bar region. Actually let's call this outlook bar group region because we're actually be injecting groups. And this last one, let's call, how about content region? Our main content region or whatever you wanna name it. Okay, that'll do for now. So that's our shell. That's all we need to start injecting our views. The next step is to do the same thing for our WPF application. Go ahead and close this shell and let's open up the WPF shell. The WPF shell is going to be slightly different. We're going to be dealing with a XAM ribbon window. It's going to host our ribbon control and the APIs are slightly different. So I'm going to go ahead and start this by adding our ribbon control. And this is going to do a couple things for me. XAM ribbon. 
it's going to add my references and it's going to add my XMLNS namespace for me. Okay, so let's just go ahead, reset all, get rid of this text block, and actually we'll get rid of this grid. Now, I want to use the XAM ribbon window that Infragistics provides for me, so I'm going to say IG ribbon. Zam ribbon window. Make sure we close our tag here. Don't forget to. This isn't required, but I like to do it so when I'm in my code behind, I, I know what the derived control is. Now, in order to get this to work properly, we actually need to do. Uh, we need to add a ribbon content host. So we need to say IG ribbon. It's called a ribbon window content host. And then in there, you say IG ribbon dot ribbon window content host dot ribbon. Then we can take our beautiful ribbon here. And we'll just shove it right inside. Okay, so let's go ahead and throw a doc panel in here. Last child fill equals true, because this is gonna be our content area. Now here, we're gonna add our Outlook bar. Don't really worry about all this stuff. This. And then we need a content control. We're gonna go ahead and dock our Outlook bar to the left. Okay, so now we need to do the same thing we did before. We need to add a new namespace. HTTP, whack the whack. Now we just find the elements we're gonna be using as our regions. Prism. Region manner dot region name. We call this ribbon tab region. Our outlook bar. Prism. Region manager. Region name. Outlook bar group region. and content region. Let's go ahead and give this guy a margin. Ah, sure. And how about a width? What the heck? Okay, great. So now we have finished our WPF shell and we can start injecting views into the shell right now. But unfortunately, you're going to wait until the next video before I show you how to start creating modules.